The last time I did a car video, mm -hmm. I was going to another country. And now, it's time to hit up another one. All right, I'm back. So I'm packing, actually I'm bringing, we're bringing two suitcases as well as our backpacks. Um, like this, so I got something that I can hold my laptop and stuff in, but I'm not bringing my laptop this time. Got a, a first aid kit. Um, I've got my handy dandy tripod and um, I got like in this bag I have like my little cord as well as my uh, microphone. Actually I got like two. I got the one with the that's the uh, holder for it. And then I have this smaller microphone that I can put in my phone uh, if I don't want to slide, you know, do all the sliding and stuff for that connector piece. to check um, off the seats, just make sure that everybody's accounted for before we actually get ready to leave. So we'll, we're waiting on everybody to get on the bus, and then we're gonna be heading on to Cairo. You wanna say anything else? Yeah, and out, and we in the bus. Hello, right. and we're in the bus and driving car. All right. Right now we're taking a break off the bus to just stretch our legs and everything. And Jamari wanted to sit, so that's what we're gonna do. Sometimes it's good to just get off the bus and try to use the bathroom. Us getting our suitcases. It's all ours. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no tax. Come on. I'm here. No tax. Yes. No. 
So these are the different uh, buses, bus options that they have. And the Elite Plus has um, the Wi-Fi. I need this thing to focus. Nope. Uh, we got on this one. Huh? Uh, we got any stuff on this one? Yeah. Alright, so we've made it to the Go Bus. We finally found a place to sit down and say hey. Hey. And now we're just waiting on our uh, bus to come, I think at 1 o'clock or 1 30. That's going to be a 12 hour There's ride. There's a restaurant that's four minutes walk. Is it? It's called okay. Garden Court Cafe. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be a twelve. Stop. That's gonna be a twelve-hour ride. And I'm not really sure if I'm prepared for it because I've never ridden or rode on a bus uh, that long before. But I am excited because it's a new route, and I get to see some other views and get some more visuals for you guys. So but yeah, that's about it. We. I don't. I don't, I don't know if we have to check in here. I don't remember doing it the last time. So I'll, I don't have a problem with checking in. One of the things that I did want to do was charge my phone. But then my son reminded me that we do have chargers, so I don't have to worry about that. The process has been smooth so far. Nobody tried to get any money from us for putting the bags on the go bus like they did last time. Uh, but there were people who were driving taxis trying to get us to get a ride. Other than that, we haven't had any issues, any problems. So far, so good. Look at the skin. Okay, we're on the second bus now.
will take y'all off these buses. So after a long stop at the checkpoints, Mari decides that he has to pee. And the good thing is that we weren't um, going to have to stop anyway. So we get to a place called Adam or Adam. I don't know how they say it. And I take him to the bathroom. Everything is fine. But then when I get ready to go to the bathroom, they try to charge me three pounds. Now y'all should have seen this bathroom. It was unhealthy and it was unrighteous. So I had to go to the bathroom on the bus. It was better than what was in now. But I, I was upset. I wasn't right. So the key to this thing is to bring you some tissue and some air freshener as well as some Clorox wipes. It'll bless your soul. GPS. GPS, gotcha. Alright you guys, so we finally made it to the hotel, but there were a couple of things that I wanted to discuss with you. Uh, first thing is, I've taken the GO bus at least seven times at this point, and one of the reasons why is because it is affordable and one of the leading travel ways to get around the country of Egypt. There are other bus companies um, that you can take, but since it was the first one that I used, I'm kind of just comfortable with using it, but I do uh, want to try other buses as well as um, other ways of transportation like trains. The Go Bus is affordable, very affordable, and for what you get, I'm not going to really make a fuss about it, but I will say that one of the cons is the bathrooms. Uh, make sure you guys have tissue, make sure you bring some air freshener, uh, hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, baby wipes, any, everything that you need because you're not gonna get any of that on the bus. Make sure you choose a seat in the back because if you don't, and that whip hit you from that bathroom, it's gonna be <laughs> a very unpleasant, um, thing for you. I think I've only been on three bus rides where the bathrooms have been clean the entire time, but to be realistic with you guys, um, nine times out of ten, there's going to be something that don't work. Either it's not going to flush or maybe the water isn't running. So just to prepare yourself and to make sure that you have you know, somewhat of a pleasant uh, trip when it comes to that bathroom. Just make sure that you have those things that I listed. There are three ways that you can pay for the Go Bus. You can pay through their app, you can pay online, or you can go to the Go Bus counter. For me personally, I like to pay online. Their app never works for me. I don't know what the problem is, so I usually pay online. And lately, I've been noticing that I've had to like process it two or three times before it goes through online. I'm not sure if there's a block with my VPN or if it's just a system thing, but um, eventually it goes through. That just makes more sense for me. I try to have as less paper as possible. And when I get there, usually I don't have to check in, but sometimes I notice that they'll tell us to go to the counter so that way we can show proof that we've made payment. Either which way it go, they're still going to check it before you even get on the bus um, and count your seat and, you know, and mark it off the, the paper anyway. So there's no way around it, but it is what it is. As far as prices are concerned, uh, they do change based on distance as well as the class that you choose. I have only ridden the Deluxe uh, Plus. I think they call it New Deluxe now. Um, I've only ridden that one, but I do want to ride uh, some of the other classes like the Elite. I think I'm gonna stay away from the mini bus as well as the Classic because I've heard some bad things about it as well as read bad reviews about it. And I know that you can't take everybody's word for it, but I, they just have too many uh, cons for me. So I'll stick with the Deluxe or just move up to the Elite and see what that's about. The biggest difference that I've uh, read uh, or seen is that the Elite has more comfortable seats and or better comfort, uh, seats as well as um, they give you snacks. On the Deluxe, I think this is the first time, or maybe the second, where the USB charging port has actually worked. And uh, the first time that I was able to connect to Wi-Fi, but you are supposed to be able to 
uh, connect to Wi-Fi, be able to charge your phone, uh, as well as uh, watch movies uh, online once you connect to their Wi-Fi, or just watch TV because they do play movies while you're on the bus. Um, so I think that that would be the, di the biggest difference between the Elite and the Deluxe would be um, comfortability as well as them giving you uh, hot drinks and snacks. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.